Greetings, greetings, royals. Hello. Hello, hello. How are the royals doing today? Okay, we are live. We're getting ready. Oh, why does this thing always disturb me? Hello. Greetings, 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 royals. Hello. Okay, we're going to go on on the podcast very soon. We are live. We are live. We're getting ready. All right. Let's see. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all royals. How are you all doing today? Trust you had a beautiful week. Happy Friday, happy Gratitude Friday. We are live. We are live on Facebook. We are live on Instagram. Yes, we are ready for an inspiration for you recap today, royals. How was your week? How has your week been? You know, I hope you did win you took charge and you know how we do it well so okay so we are ready for an inspiration for you recap you know every friday we meet up and we share a lot on the inspirations that we have been sharing throughout the whole week okay so you all know that an inspiration for you is a platform for personal development so we're looking at growing each and every single day royals you know once you are part of an inspiration for you as you are part of this family just know that you are in for growth because you know i believe god wants us to grow and we are in for it all right so this is rati shalom good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to an inspiration for you recap i know i had already started talking <laughs> all right so let's just get into the inspirations royal but so far how has everything been when it comes to an inspiration for you i hope you are you know inspired by the inspirations and you are actually learning so much from them right because that is the whole purpose of us being here i hope we are not really wasting your time and i think i do know that we are not you know because whatever that we share is actually the word of god and we do need the word of god every single day there's no break for the word of god because we eat the word we talk the word we move the word we act the word we smile the word you know everything that we do is because of the word of god so what can we be without the word of god what would an inspiration be like without the word of god i can tell you there is no an inspiration for you without the word of god so we are here because of the word of god so everything is all about sharing the word all right so now let's look at the inspirations for this week royals and you know it has been an amazing week we learned so much this week so i would like us to look at all the inspirations that we learned this week you know so that we can know where to you know to level up where to do better with our lives let's look at it now what was the inspiration for monday saying let's look at how monday was like says you deserve beautiful things royals okay so monday say you uh, the inspiration says rather you deserve beautiful things royal uh, um don't exclude yourself from being part of them okay don't exclude yourself for being part of beautiful things. Don't say it's for those that can afford. Don't say it's for those that have got titles. Don't say it's for those who actually come from the rich families. You know, you all deserve beautiful things. I deserve beautiful things. You deserve beautiful things. We all deserve beautiful things. That is why God created us. There wasn't going to be any purpose for us being here if we were not going to enjoy the beautiful things. So now you deserve beautiful things. Don't exclude yourself from being part of them. Prepare for your beautiful life. Create it in your mind and grasp it in your spirit because you will not live in the lesser than what you deserve. Okay. So it says that 
you will not live in the lesser than what you deserve so start preparing your beautiful for your beautiful life prepare for your beautiful life well what do you see what do you see do you see the beautiful life do you see you doing beautiful things you know enjoying your life to the fullest do you know as we speak right now there's somebody who's sitting down in depression in stress you know in anxiety and so on and they're just admiring other people and they're like i wish i could be like that or will i ever be like this why is my life like this why am i so low why don't i have beautiful things why can't i be do you understand but and you might be listening to me right now maybe you are in that situation you're in that condition or maybe you know you have been going through so much and you feel like you know what i don't honestly think that i will make it life i would be better and so on you deserve beautiful things i'm here to tell you that's what an inspiration for you is saying that you deserve beautiful things you need to start you know preparing for your beautiful life Start preparing for a beautiful life because you will live a beautiful life. You know, at least believe that you will. There is hope for you because there is hope for you. Okay? Stop giving up on yourself. Stop giving up on your life. Stop giving up on your family. Stop giving up on things that, you know, um, actually, like, involve you. Stop giving up. You deserve beautiful things. And guess what? Beautiful things are actually on your way. So start preparing. Create it in your mind and grasp it in your spirit because you will not live in the letter than what you deserve. That is if, you know, when the instruction says something, you need to understand that, you know, all those things are being said by the spirit of God. It says you will not live in the lesser than what you deserve. That is if you do believe in it. Do you believe that you will not live in the lesser than what you deserve? I told myself, I told myself that, you know what, God, I'm your princess. I'm your girl. Okay. I may be in that process of growth. I may be, you know, but I, I, I want, I want you to believe, I mean, to, to know this God as your child, as your beautiful princess. I will definitely not allow myself to live in the lesser than what I deserve. It's just a matter of time. I know what I want. I know where I want to be. I know the life that I ought to live. I know how I want things to be, you know, and f listening to the word of God, following the word of God, I can guarantee you that, you know what? I know what I want. So why am I sharing this? I'm not sharing this trying to, you know, to, to brag or whatever. The point is we ought to be in that kind of atmosphere, in that mentality. We need to think like that, royals. Okay. You deserve beautiful things. So, so let's look at what they imagine that I've already shared so much without even reading the inspiration. So now let's look at the inspiration. Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse 18, the NIV version. It reads, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirm his covenant, which is which he showed to your ancestors as it is today. So now, since it is God that gives you power to make wealth, it is God that gives you the abilities, it is God that, I mean, empowers you. So you might be listening and you're like, okay, right, I understand, I do believe, I mean, I uh, deserve beautiful things, but where am I going to get them? How am I going to get them? What's going to happen? You know, but what you need to understand is that it's God that gives it power to make wealth. The, the question is, do you have a relationship with the God who gives power to make wealth? That's where everything starts. It starts with the relationship with God. You know, it starts with the relationship with God. I may not have gone into that particular world that I dream of every time, but I tell you that that is where we are heading to. You know, because he wants us to believe in the way that he says. If you can't listen... Royal, if you cannot believe the word for yourself, if you cannot at least have a little faith like a, that, like that of a mustard seed, then I honestly do not know whom do you think will think for you? Whom do you think will have faith on your behalf? Whom do you think will come and push you and say, listen, you have, you deserve beautiful things, you will live in those, I mean, in that kind of like atmosphere or that kind of environment and so on, you know? Nobody, absolutely nobody. Nobody is going to tell you, listen, this is what your life should be like, except you and 
also listening to God. So don't expect other people that they will come and tell you that this is where you belong to. This is, and they will push you there. You have to push yourself to where you belong to. And that's where you need God in every situation, right? You need God in everything that you do. Stop overthinking. You will get sick, Royal. Stop overthinking. Many people overthink. Stop overthinking. Why are you overthinking? You know, why are you overthinking? And then it says, use that same energy to think about the beautiful life that God created you for. Think about your good life and how to enjoy and embrace the beauty of everything. The same energy that you're using to so think of negativity, to so think of worry, anxiety, you name it, to think of People don't like me to think of, will I, I will never make it in life to think of, I'm not going to be successful to think of, I don't deserve good things. Like that very same energy that you are using to think like that. You can use th that very, that very same energy to think of the beautiful things you see. So good life is yours. That's what the hashtag says. Don't ask how will I get the world to live that kind of life who will help me god will give you the power to get world and the ability to sustain and enjoy it because when you get the world you also need the ability to sustain the world and enjoy it there are people who are so wealthy but they do not have healthy lives their bodies are not healthy. They've got sick. They're, they're, they're diagnosed with different kinds of sicknesses in their bodies. They are ever in and out of the hospitals, even though they have money. There are people who are rich. have got all the money that you can ever think of in this world, but they are not happy. As well as you are listening, maybe, you know, as you are listening right now, I'm telling you that there are people in the world somewhere who are in depression, even though they are millionaires. So now, what good does that do? That is why it is important for us to have a relationship with God, right? And God is the one that gives you the ability to sustain your wealth and to enjoy it. Because when God gives you wealth, he also gives you the ability to sustain the world. You need to know how to take care of your world, how to, you know, to, 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 protect your wealth and how to also enjoy it with the wisdom of God, using the wisdom of God, you know, know how to, what to do with your wealth and how to, because there are people that have got all the things in this world, but I tell you, they're living a horrible life. You who have got that small money you have, maybe you are, you'll be like, wow, I'm better, you know, but are we saying it's okay not to have money? Of course, it's not okay. We must have money. We must have a lot of wealth. And wealth is not actually money. Wealth is beyond money. Wealth is beyond money. When it comes to wealth, we're talking about you being healthy in all areas of your life. Health-wise, you know, relationship-wise, family-wise, and, you know, business-wise. All those areas of your life, they, all, they must be healthy. You know, so wealth is, Money is just a currency that you use to buy one or two things. Being wealthy is not the money. It is beyond that. So God gives us that ability to take care of the wealth and also to enjoy it. Right? Live in the beauty of your life in your mind. As the Holy Spirit guides you into all truth, the, his word will never fail. You deserve a beautiful life. Don't exclude yourself because you are one of the blessed people and you are the one to also bless others. Okay? So you are the one to also bless others. Think about your beautiful life in Christ Jesus and begin to live in the reality of it. That is where you belong and it is suitable for you and it suits you actually. Your you know, I want to tell you that you all, you beautiful life suits you. It suits you. Maybe you're like, but right, you don't know me. It doesn't matter. I might not see you, but I want to tell you something. Beautiful life suits you. You know, it suits you. So stay in that realm. Believe in yourself. Believe in that beautiful life that God has prepared you for. I tell you, we are heading there. We are heading there. All right, so let's look at the inspiration for Tuesday. I want to try to be very fast right now. Embrace yourself with warm love and cares 
um, says, embrace yourself with warm love and cares for you with beautiful words that build and encourage you. Learn to love yourself unconditionally and with that same love you give to you can also share with others so the same love that you give to you you can actually share it with others when you can only learn to love yourself so cares about you embrace yourself with love love yourself royal okay love yourself Woo! you know if you don't know me you like maybe you see me for the first time you'll be like she thinks she's all that no it's not that i just love myself i love the beauty that God made me, the creativity that God made in me. I just love it. And I'll be like, oh, what? Right to you are lovable. I love you. You know, because if you don't do that, whom do you think will do it? Like, you know, this thing of you expecting another person to tell you, I love you, you know, before you tell yourself, like, hello, whose child do you think will begin to come and tell you I love you without you telling yourself? You need to love yourself first. Tell yourself that, you know what, Reti, I love you. Love yourself. Then, the same way you will love yourself is how you can also love other people. You know, you can love others more than you love yourself. It can't be. It can't be. There definitely might be a problem there. If you love other people more than you love yourself, I'll tell you what it is you're obsessed it's an obsession it's not love you love somebody more than you love yourself you're like you are shaky you know you 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 feel like hey i need this person more in my life that's obsession obsession you need to be treated you need to be treated you need to treat that obsession you mustn't be obsessed you must just love people the way god loves them and that is how you should love yourself Okay, so now let's look at the inspiration. Mark 12, 30 to 31. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than that. So there is no commandment that is greater than that. How do you love yourself? How do you love your neighbor? The same way you love another person is how you love yourself. If you hate other people, you're like, I don't like this person. You know, that means, are you saying you hate yourself like that? You know, so the same way you show love to other people, how you do it is how you love yourself. So if you do it, like, with a, like a side of it, maybe you, you, you are doing it, but not wholeheartedly. You're doing like a portion of it. You're like, I'm just gonna show them love a little bit. That means you, you, that's what you do for your life. Like with your own self. That means you show love a little bit to yourself. So you should fully express the love. The same way you love yourself is how you're gonna love another person. So express the love of God. So you have to love God first with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with the whole you. And then with that same love, the same way you love God, you love yourself. And then with that same love, you also love other people. Because what does the Bible say? That we are created in his own image, in his likeness. You are like God. You are like God. So you love God. You love you. You love God. You love your neighbor. You love God. This is it. Right. You can't love others more than you love yourself. That will be selfishness and carelessness, Royal. So once you do that, you are selfish and you are careless. You are selfish. You're just thinking of other people more than you. And you are, you are careless. Careless with your life. You are precious. You are worthy. You are beautiful. You are of value. God loves you. And he wants you to love yourself. So why would you think that you cannot live without another person why would you think that you need to be loved by another human extra before you actually experience that love or share that love you know it shouldn't be like that Stop being obsessed about human beings. Stop being obsessed about so many things. Stop being obsessed about material things. Stop being obsessed about everything. And even yourself. Do you know you can be obsessed with yourself? Ego will make you obsessed with yourself more than you know. You love God. You would think you are, the, you are that thing yourself. You know. 
Some people don't even involve God in their lives. They feel they are the that God they create. They do all sorts of things, but it's not supposed to be like that. Okay, so that's why you put God first in everything, right? So you shouldn't be obsessed of other people. You shouldn't be obsessed of, you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. And you should also love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with everything, right? So now learn to love yourself and shape your life with God's word. Don't allow words that tear you apart to dominate your mind. God loved you before you existed. He sent, he sent his son Jesus for you. And now he has sent you to love yourself with that same love he has for you. And with that same love, he wants you to share it with others. So you can actually only share the love that you understand. Okay. Love yourself first, Royal. So love yourself, okay? Love yourself. Put yourself first. You know, learn to love yourself. It's okay to set boundaries when it comes to your love. You need to know what you want with the love. And you need to know how to love. Some people don't even love themselves to, like that. Like, they, you know, they don't care. They don't want to take good care of themselves. They don't want to like, clean themselves. They don't want to, you know, they're just living their lives anyhow. You know, people who just give up on themselves. They feel like, I don't care anymore. People don't want to love me. I don't care anymore. I don't need to do anything about my life because I don't deserve the love. People are not giving it to me. So you need to take care of yourself first, love you first. Then other people will be like, wow, the love that she experiences, she, she experiences, experience, you know, in a, that she, she shows in herself. This is the love, you know, so it starts with you, Royal. Let me try to be fast right now. Okay, so let's get the Wednesday one. Each time you speak or write something, always remember that there is a time for it to come to manifestation, Royal. Speak and write in faith because God will cause it to happen to you. So now this is talking about the power of writing. There's power in writing. How often do you write? How often do you write, Royals? Do you write things down? Does God talk to you and you write down? Or you are like, ah, I just think of it and I've started. Have you ever noticed that when you think of writing something and you don't write it later on you like you forget it like i don't remember how, I, what is it what is it what is it and then like that thing is gone so there is power in writing you need to write always i learned to love writing god taught me how to love writing and you know the precious i mean precious holy spirit taught me to write i was never i told you before when we started an inspiration for you i told you that i was never an english person a writing person those are the, the you know i was the last person that i could like people could have thought that i can actually speak english the way i speak or write at all i was the last person trust me you know but i don't know how god did it like i was the my case was that of moses who said god i'm a stammer i don't even know how to do those things i can't talk and so on and then god said i'm gonna use you like that and everything became a miracle to me to write, to speak, to do all the things that I'm doing. And if I can tell you, it is me and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who makes me do all the things that I do, compiling everything, you know, putting it out there, whether it's the designing, whether whatever it is. Like, I was sharing with you. I said I'm going to share this encounter that I had on, like, during the week on writing a book. Like, I always... I think I, I saw it on my bio, uh, on, on my bio, I went to, to my bio and I was reading how, uh, uh, like everything was wrote regards to Rati and so on. And then there's a part that says, um, her life is actually a book on its own and, you know, it's for another time. And I'm like, okay, that part, it was up something that I actually saw this week and I'm like, oh God. And then the Holy Spirit just put, like he made me grab a, a phone and said start writing i'm like writing what so start writing i began to write i don't even know what i was writing. i was just writing things putting them together putting everything together as i was writing and all the the, the, the points everything i don't know what happened when i was done the spirit, the spirit of god said that's a book and i'm like a book it says yes start compiling it i couldn't sleep like, like that's what happens when the Holy Spirit wants me to do something, he would take away sleep from my ears, you know, I mean, from my eyes, rather. I will just start writing. That's when I pop out everything. I put the book together. I actually posted it. I put the book together, the cover page, the, 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 the whole body of the book, the, 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 the back of the book and so on. And then he said, you see what you did just now? 
that was just for you to prove that you can do it now you're gonna go and do what i asked you to because there's some a very huge project that he asked me to do a long time ago and all this time i've just been doing it in an easy way i'm like ah god i'm gonna go and ask somebody to do this for me then god says see now you can do it now go and do it that's how everything unfolded and i began to put things together and it became easy you know that is all because of the power of writing. God causes you to do things well in an amazing way. When you write, there is power. And when you write, those things come to manifestation. So power, there's power in writing. Speak and write in faith uh, because God will cause it to happen to you. So make sure that you write. You may like, okay, writing, this is not for everybody. I know it's not for everybody. Writing is not for everybody. But at least start write your own personal things okay write about your your vision write about your life write about the dreams that you want to achieve the things your goals and so just write write as the spirit of god leads you the power of speaking and writing can't be emphasized enough royal it's what you have to understand and take it seriously because it guides and traces the progress of the manifestation of that which you write and speak there is a difference between a person who writes or speaks to show off, to be seen by men that he or she is a serious, busy person who can speak or write strong vocabulary words and one who is influenced by the Holy Spirit, who writes and speaks from the bowel of the Spirit of God. So when you write, make sure that the Spirit of God is guiding you because Holy Spirit is the teacher. He teaches you all things. Like I tell you, Royals, Holy Spirit teaches with everything like all the things that i'm doing i'm telling you about every single thing if you link on the bio everything that you see there it is what the holy spirit taught me it has been a very long journey a very long journey i must say but god has been taking me step by step teaching me things revealing things and if i see something i'm like god how do i do this thing the holy spirit will just guide me so just got to do this too you know he always guides me on the right platform the right people to you know everything has always been amazing when you involve the holy spirit you know write and speak what the holy spirit tells you and you will experience the manifestation of it that's what god is and that's, that's how god is like you write and uh, everything that he tells you and then you will see the manifestation of it it unfolds gradually it unfolds you know god doesn't lie don't be scared to write and speak about that big vision if god is talking to you listen to the holy spirit that's what the hashtag said in your writing and speaking always make sure it is not coming from your physical senses be inspired by the holy spirit and act in it and it says and act it in faith knowing that as he speaks through you he brings his word to pass be his instrument let god write and speak through you be open to his voice royal so you need to actually be open to his voice so that god can really speak to you okay and as he speaks to you you write so whatever that you write you know you write because the holy spirit influences you and one thing that you need to understand is that life your journey is not competition don't try to compete with anybody don't say what is doing this i'm gonna do it be on your path okay walk your journey with god not with writing or with another person you know there are so many trends there's so many things that are happening on social platforms everybody is busy we are all busy you know we are all busy doing stuff so we are busy writing we are busy talking we are busy compiling we are busy doing all sorts but as busy as we are i hope that Every person who is busy, we are busy because the Holy Spirit says we must be busy with whatever that we are busy with, okay? So that we don't get caught up the way, like we end up just flying and without, without a purpose, without direction, without knowing what we're doing, you know? It's always beautiful when you listen to the Holy Spirit. It's, it will be beautiful to even watch your progress in your life, to watch your growth. You're like, whoa! Five years ago I was there, but look at me now. Two years ago I was there, look at me now. And you see the hand of God. It becomes so beautiful that way, royals. You know, 
you also embrace your growth that's one of the most important thing when you walk with god you do things as the spirit of god leads you you grow as the spirit of god guides you he tells you do this now do this you know you will embrace your journey of growth i tell you you will embrace it you know expect to grow that's on thursday it says expect to grow every single day and be able to measure your growth by comparing how you were yesterday and how you are today make growth your lifestyle and and enjoy watching yourself evolve royal okay so you need to expect to grow that's one thing that i was telling you that um and inspiration for you is all about development it's all about personal development self-growth it's all about self-growth you know it's all about self-growth so it is important for you to expect yourself to grow don't be comfortable being on the same level don't be comfortable doing the same thing over and over and again don't be comfortable watching yourself being the same person that you've been like five years back ten years back no you must challenge yourself to grow and you must always let the holy spirit push you to grow expect to grow that's what i do like i love to learn like i love to learn new things i mean you know whether it's skill it's a skill or whatever i love to see things happening you know i i, I can say okay i can look at myself and like okay what did i learn this week how has it helped me? What can I do with what I have learned? You know, and one thing that you must understand is that when God gives you anything royals, you know, whether it's a vision or it's, it's a, whatever that it is that he gives you, where you discover your purpose, he always has a way of making you get involved in everything that has to do with that purpose. He makes you get involved in everything so that you don't say, um, you know what? Ah, please help me do this. Please, you know, it's your, it's the vision that God gave you. He made you write it down. You cannot expect another person to fulfill the vision for you. You can't expect another person to push the vision for you. You can't expect other people to understand what God deposited into your spirit. So you need to expect to grow in every area of your life, in your business, in your, you know, in your career, in everything that you do in your marriage and so on expect growth and you must grow you must grow imagine being given the responsibility of taking care of a newborn baby until he or she becomes an independent adult that can also be entrusted with that same assignment as you that's your entire life's responsibility right there that's your entire life's responsibility now think about what will happen when you decide to keep the child in your room you don't feed the child properly you don't bath the child and you don't assess or teach the child anything about human development what do you think will become of that child you see that it takes so much to raise a child right it does take so much royals so imagine keeping a child at home there's a reason why God gave us a stage to stage the structure of human growth. There's a reason why we have us. Why do you think we have a structure of human growth? Just picture the structure of human growth with your own personal life, like growth, your own growth, personal growth. Imagine you are maybe in your, you don't even like, just imagine the level of your growth right now. Let's say you are a crawling child. Are you going to remain a crawling child when it comes to your personal life, your growth? You need to grow step by step. There's a reason why God showed that. You know, the things that we see in the physical, they are there in the, in, in the spirit realm already. So what you see in the physical with the child is how your, your, your personal life is. Your growth should be like. So you need to grow each and every single day. Have you seen children that never went to school? Have you seen people, I mean, uh, adults who never went to school, who were never taught so many things? They're just there without knowing that they're doing. But that is not how God wants our lives to be like. Okay? So there is, there's a reason why we have that. Now listen to this. Now think about what will happen when you decide to keep the child. Okay, we have taken that one. There's a reason why God gave us a stage to stage the structure of human growth, right? We have taken that one as well. You know, because he because he's God, don't you think he would have just made us adults right after coming from our mother's womb? Don't you think so? Why didn't God just say, okay? Boom, come out of the belly and boom, become an adult right away. 
He would have done that. He's God, isn't it? He's the one who created the universe of the earth. He created the human beings. He's the one who created. Why did he bring in the, that natural process? The natural process of growth. If it was not necessary, that is why we have an inspiration for you. For personal development. Expect to grow. That's where we come in. That's where our platform come in. That listen, God wants you to grow. So don't think that you're just going to be there for the rest of your life. You need to stand up. You need to wake up and discover your abilities and grow them. You need to discover them and grow them. The same applies to your personal growth royal you have to grow daily feed your mind with the right information that will reform you so that you can be able to measure the progress of your growth make growth your everyday lifestyle and keep and be excited to see you grow step by step becoming that great man or woman of your dream okay so what does the information do to you you what why is it saying information in formation so you take in formation and then it reforms you so each time you take in information there is the, that information must reform you because you have taken in the information then that information that you have taken in must actually bring in the other the a terms version of you it reforms you right so that's why it is important for us to study that's why it is important for us to equip ourselves get some knowledge or current knowledge you know learn there's so much now the world has been made easy for us with internet there was a time whereby it was not easy for people to go to school even if they want to those that can't afford and so on but now we have internet internet has made things so easy there are tools everywhere you can study online you can do things online there are so many online platforms that you can actually get to register and study without you paying anything you know you study and that's how you you you, you get equipped you know so if you have been making an excuse that oh i must go to school there's nobody can take me to school and so on at least start with what you have use what you have okay look at that woman who had small portion of oil in her house and the the the, the flour so is that all that you have says use it you know and she never even left so don't wait to say i don't have you have something there's what you have you have your phone your phone has internet stop scrolling pages and pages running and roaming around the wall streets of the internet one uh, a social platform to another and you're not learning anything use the internet that you use to scroll around to see what people are doing following one news after the other this person said this to who oh this 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 there's, there's trending drama, there's this drama. You are ever following people with their trending news. But you are not trending yourself with the information that will equip your life. You have your phone. Use your phone. Don't say I don't have a laptop. You have your phone. So use your phone to search for the right information that you will put it into yourself and it reforms you to be better. We love excuses. Stop excuses. Use what you have. The same applies to your personal growth. Well, you have to grow daily. Feed your mind. We have taken that. Make growth your everyday lifestyle and be excited to see you grow step by step. Right? Becoming that great man and woman of your, of your dream. Isaiah 28, 10, 13 says, For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, um... Here a little and there a little. So it says precept upon precept. So that means uh, there has to be information after another information as long as it is the information that equips you. Okay. So you cannot just wake up miraculous, miraculously. You have got all things. You are like that. You know, I honestly used to think the people that have, who, who know, we have got so much knowledge, you know, they got things easy, you know. It takes so much work. There's labor, there's sacrifice, there's some pains that you go through. There's so much that happens. You cannot just get out there with talking. Talking is cheap. We all talk. We have been talking. We talk. You know, I had a conversation with one of my colleagues who is actually a, uh, um, a, a, a coach. You know, she's into the in, in, in the corporate world. You know, she does a lot of coaching for uh, companies, you know, the leaders the bosses and the employees and so on so we have been discussing so many things and you know she's like you know what righty we have been talking i'm like girl we have been talking we talk we are ever talking 
But with the talking that we talk, what do we produce? So everybody talks. We are all allowed to talk. That's why God gave us the mouth to talk. It is okay to talk, but it is okay to talk with direction, productivity, with focus, knowing what you want. Don't just be found all over and you are talking, but you don't have a direction with your life. You are ever talking yet. You don't even know what you're talking about, but you are talking. At least have a direction, focus, know what you want with your life and begin to talk in the right channel, in the right direction. So that you can begin to see the manifestation of what you're talking about. You know, we need to see the manifestation of it. Now, we are on Friday, Royals, and it's Gratitude Friday opportunities. Let's look at the Gratitude one. You know, every Gratitude Friday, we talk more on gratitude, the power of gratitude. Why we have to be grateful to God? Because, you know, without a grateful heart, you cannot even get to where you want. You, you limit you. You limit you. Gratitude unfolds opportunities for you, Royal, and grants you the ability. This was a very powerful hidden revelation. It says gratitude unfolds opportunities for you, Royal, and grants you the ability to see and to take advantage of them. Be grateful to God with an open heart. So when you show gratitude to God, He unfolds opportunities. You begin to see opportunities that you never even thought of. You know, during the day, the Spirit of God led us to prayer and we had like an hour session of prayer as i was praying and i had this thought in mind that the spirit of as you show gratitude the spirit of god unfolds opportunities and as i was praying showing gratitude to god god was showing me the opportunities he was unfolding opportunities in the realm of the spirit i'm like wow this is it royal i'm like this is it god yes that's why you said gratitude unfolds opportunities you know, so I love it because whenever something is being shared, God will help me at least experience it, hear his voice so that I can really know what I'm talking about. That's one thing that I love about the Holy Spirit. He doesn't make you do things. If you see yourself, you're doing things because of doing so, then I think you are not really listening to the Spirit of God. Now, have you, let me look at my time, have you imagined yourself walking on a royalty carpet your entire life because of your good works? Each morning you wake up in the morning, um, it says, each morning you wake up with a grateful heart, God simply prepares you for all your movements and commands angels to unroll a red carpet for you to walk on it to your opportunities and give you the ability to win in all of them. You must be a spirit person for you to understand this. Because with your physical senses, it might not make sense. Wait, that's not a lullaby, a lullaby story that I'm telling you to make you feel good so that you can sleep on problems and dream about unicorns until the next day to start all over in the reality of the same pressure again. God is the real deal. You ought to understand this with the spiritual understanding. You need to open up your, your spiritual understanding to see this, Royal. God is a spirit and he has, he has always been his, sorry, God is a spirit. And this has always been his idea about your life. Hence he said in the book of Revelation chapter 1, 6, the King James Version, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You don't understand this using your senses because this is the language of the spirit. Your spiritual eyes must be open for you to understand and see how amazing God is in your life. Be grateful to God. Your gratitude to God causes you to, to reign wherever you go in the in humility and it, it, it unfolds opportunities and grants you the ability to excel in all of them why are you grateful to god for this week royal count your blessings and celebrate it says count your blessings and celebrate you ought to be grateful to god at all time the more grateful you are god unfolds opportunities for you you begin to see opportunities in the realm of the spirit and then he guides you on how for those opportunities uh, i mean opportunities to be reality to be made manifest and you function on them you know so that's what gratitude does you walk on that royal red carpet on that royalty carpet it is by the spirit of god wherever you go you might it might not be like the, the physical red carpet but you will notice wherever you go opportunities are open for you wherever you go people just love you wherever you go people just honor you wherever you go people just want to work with you wherever you go people just want to be with you they just love your energy like you show up they're like you know what 
this is the deal i love you like that i love what you carry you know those are opportunities being unfolded God unrolls seven angels to unfold the carpet, the royal, the royal carpet for you. Wherever you go, you just see opportunities and it gives you the ability to do and you excel. You just see your things are flowing. Your business is flowing. Your life is flowing. Your marriage is flowing. Your family is flowing. Everything. Why? Because your gratitude has caused God to unfold opportunities. That's what gratitude does. It unfolds opportunity. That's a powerful one day. All right. So let me round up, Royals, before I start preaching. All right. So that is all for an inspiration for you, Recap Royals, this week. Before we round up, before I go, you might be watching me right now and you're not born again. You don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Like all that we have talked about, for you to experience the grace, the love, the grow, and to see, really, you need to have a relationship with Jesus. So I would like you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart right now as I say it. Please say, oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit right now. I declare that I am born again. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for sending your son Jesus to die for me. And you raised him from the dead on my behalf. Thank you, Lord. I am saved. I'm born again. I'm a new creation from this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, congratulations, Royal. If you have said this prayer, listen, you are born again. You are a new creation. You might remain the same on the outside. Your face is the same. Your hair is the same. Everything is the, excuse me, is the same. But you are a new creation because you are a spirit being right so now that you're born again and you want to help please dm us text us however you want to communicate with us link in our bio like any of our social platforms try to communicate with us you know we will help you on your chain of faith now that you're born again send you some articles to read some scriptures and all other books that can help you on your chain of faith now that you're born again all right and also we have got so much royals that we have been preparing we're still preparing on an inspiration for you so we are trying to you know not really that we're trying we are doing it we're preparing a platform where we're gonna be you know accommodating those that really want to learn so much about personal growth and then we're gonna be having different activities like different um like things that we're gonna do on personal growth and what to do for you to get to certain levels in life to do certain things you know how to be better how to grow your spirit yourself how to think in a certain way and so on like all those things are going to be you know unfolded on the platforms and we're looking at you know working one-on-one -on -one with people that want to grow personally you know that wants to grow that really say you know what righty i really want to grow because you know one thing that you need to understand real when it comes to personal growth not many people really understand this it takes so much in you for you to see the to understand the importance of personal growth do you know we have so many people that are just loitering around the world you know they just what they all they know is just to go to work come back you hand to mouth eat what they have sleep and wake up go to work eat go and do sweep or do one or two things and come back and so you know they don't even know that they've got gifts in them they've got a better life to live and so on so those are the people that we want to help Help. make sure that God really uh, you know uses us to unfold the abilities of other people the lights that they have so they show up you know the, their abilities and begin to use them there was a time that I never thought that I can actually talk the way I'm talking right now but it took the grace of God to see what I have and I'm like man I cannot keep quiet that's why I talk too much the way I talk or else that's why I'm ever talking and God brought these platforms, created this platform so that I can even talk more. Why? Because I understood the importance of personal growth. And that's why I said, God, you know what? With all that which you've done for me, there's no any other way. There must be platforms to help other people. And that's why we have an inspiration for you. All right. So that is all for today, Royals. I love you all so dearly. Enjoy your weekend. 
have fun in the lawn and don't forget to go to church on sunday you know it's important for you to go to church right make sure that you go to church okay listen to the word of god and grow that's how you grow to be better all right so that is all for today royals i'll see you again next friday same time that is if we have to be here same time if the time changes i will definitely let you know so i'll see you same time same place next week on friday for another an inspiration for you recap god bless you i love you also dear don't forget to smile right always put a smile on your face see you next friday